I can't personally think of many other things more difficult than making money trading in the markets. Whether it be the crypto market, the Forex market, the stock market, making money trading is proven to be one of the most difficult ways to make money. In fact, that's why over 90% of day traders fail. And today I present to you guys the top seven reasons that I believe traders consistently fail and what you need to do in order to start making money in the markets today. Now, I first want to introduce you to Alex. Alex just got out of college. He's brand new into trading the markets. He thinks based off what he's seen online from all of these YouTube videos and these Instagrammers that trading is the way for him to make his money. Alex saw day trading as the best way for that beachfront property and that brand new Lamborghini and the wife of his dreams and the life of his dreams. And he looked into trading as that outlet to make more money. But Alex's dreams were shattered faster than dropping a vase on the ground and immediately he saw a rude awakening on how difficult trading can actually be. But if Alex had followed these seven steps, he would know exactly what he did wrong and how to make more money in the markets. So what did Alex do wrong? Well, let's start with step number one. No respect for the market. It starts here. The market is always right. The market is a third party, non-emotional, non-negotiable place where you can articulate what's going on. And the market is always going to be right. It's never going anywhere. And a lot of people come into it and they think it's me. I have the strategy. I have the skills. I was a valedictorian in college or I was the smartest in my class. Listen, the market doesn't give a shit who you are. It doesn't care how successful you've been in your past. That's the greatest thing and the greatest curse for some people is they think and they have this entitlement that because they've had success in business or because they've had success in athletics that for some reason they're going to guaranteed have success in the market. So you have to come in and realize that the market is always right. And you have to come in and have respect for the market. So your number one rule is having respect for the market because most people fail because they have no respect for the market. Now I want you to understand before we unveil number two, is that 90% of traders fail in the market. This is no secret. 90% of people that start trading fail and never make money. Yet, if you just bought the S&P 500 for the last 50, 70, 80, 100 years, you would have had success. It's because people think they can outperform the market. They think they can outsmart the market. And listen, 10% can, but how to become in that 10%, you have to know the rules and you have to show respect for the market. Now, reason number two that most people fail in the market is not having a game plan. They go into this game, it's like the Super Bowl, every single day, yet they have zero game plan, they don't have any playbook, they have no plays, and they don't know what they're going to do when they head into the markets. Too many people think that they can just go in the markets and say, oh, the market has dropped, let me buy, or it's at the all-time high, let me short, or let me get out. That is not a strategy in the markets. If you do not have a game plan in the markets, if you do not have an actual strategy heading into the markets, it's going to eat you up, spit you out, and you're never going to to have success. Number three, you're getting too cocky. I think winning in the markets is more dangerous than losing. Listen, losing is going to teach you a lot of different things and you're going to articulate what you did wrong and why you lost money, but winning Winning can be dangerous. Winning can cause people to think that they know everything about the market. They know where the market's gonna go. They know how it's going to react. And what they start to do is they start to win. Maybe they string together two or three wins at a time and suddenly they stop studying. They think they have it down. They think they know what the market's going to do next and they start to get cocky. That could lead them to over leverage an account, risk more than they should be risking and suddenly they start to blow up an account and lose all of their money, which is of course what happens to over 90% of people. So focus on your wins and understand that the reason you won is because of your discipline. The reason you won is because of your strategy. Don't get cocky on it. Realize that you're not always going to win. The market is always right and you have to start to study why you won things and almost pay more attention to your wins than your losses. Now that leads me to number four. We're all emotional beings, especially, I believe, more than ever in 2023 and beyond. We get emotional about our wins. We get excited. We get overzealous and overconfident. When we lose, we get really emotional and pissed off and we blame others and blame that indicator, blame that strategy. We simply get too emotional, which is number four. You have to focus on your emotions. You have to think about being in a Zen mode. The market doesn't know who you are. It doesn't care who you are. It doesn't care what you look like, the color of your skin, how successful you've been, the house you grew up in. All the market cares about is the button that you just clicked. And that button you just clicked is either going to be an entry to go long and make money when the markets go up or an entry to go short and make money when the markets go down. And the answer is, are you even cute? Can you 
keep a level head no matter what's happening in the market. Some days you're gonna be well in the blue making a ton of money and realizing that all of your dreams are coming into fruition. You're making the money from home without a nine to five and nobody can tell you what to do. The dream is alive and well. And other days, you're just losing money. It seems like every single time that you want the market to go up, it goes down. And it seems like every single time you want the market to go down, it inevitably goes up and you can't do anything right. The point is you must keep an even keel like you should in anything in life, like you should in your personal relationships, your friendships and sports and business. In trading, it is the most important. You must remain even keel because the market, once again, doesn't give a shit who you are. Now, reason number five as to why traders lose in the market is they start to risk too much or they get this risk it all mentality. Listen, only 10% or actually a little bit less than 10% of traders have a risk management plan. You have to be able to risk a consistent amount every single trade. In my eyes, it's no more than 2% of your account balance at any given time. And what happens is traders get successful, they get a few trades together, they get emotional like we talked about, and then they go in for the kill. They think they know everything and they risk it all. And what happens is, is now they go for that home run, they swing that bat and they miss. And now in that one trade, they've wiped out what they've done for let's say the last 10 months or the last 10 weeks. And now everything they've worked towards, all of that work, all of that effort is gone. And now because of that, they have to start over or they think that the market is wrong or they think that who taught them was wrong or they think that the strategy that they learned was wrong. But the point was, is they risk too much. Had they just consistently been risking 2% every single time, no matter if they won or they lost, they never would have wiped out their account and they would have lived a trader another day. And listen to me closely as a little bit of a bonus. As a trader, your number one goal is not making money. It's capital preservation. Without having capital in the markets, without having an account that actually has money in it, how are you ever gonna make money? You have to keep money in your account to make money. Number six is they ignore the rest of the world. They say, I don't need news. I don't care about red folders. All I care about is technicals. Listen, the majority of the moves in the market are based off of news. They're based off of geopolitical events, pandemics. They're based off of the Federal Reserve and monetary policy and elections and politicians. That is who moves the market. And if the biggest moves in the market are caused from these events, why aren't you paying attention to the events? The better that you can become to paying attention to massive moves in the market, the more money you're going to have the ability to make because you're paying attention to what actually moves the market. Not that cute little trend line or that EMA or that volume oscillator that you think is your magic eight ball to getting out of the life of poverty and you think that's how you're going to make all your money. The real money is made in the news. The real money is made on elections. The real money is made when you're paying attention to what's happening in the world. So you must do this every single day. Day, every single week, every single month to maintain a balance of what's going on around you in the globe as well as what's happening on your charts. Last but not least, number seven is revenge trading. Remember Alex, we talked about at the beginning, Alex had some success. He maybe made some money in the markets and he got a little bit more cocky and his shoulders got a little bit taller. He made good money and then suddenly he missed. He overtraded, he over leveraged and risked too much. And guess what happened? He lost 20% of his account, but he was convinced he was right. He was convinced that that market would turn around at that time. And so he traded again. They call this revenge trading. He went at the market again and he told the market himself in his head, hey, I'm right and you're not. We always remember the market is always right. And if you go into the market thinking that you're right and the market's wrong, you're never gonna win in the markets. And revenge trading is your one-stop shop to never having success. You're going to end up losing and eventually you're going to end up quitting and you're never going to be watching videos like this again. So ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. These are your seven steps to having success in the market. These are the exact seven steps that cause traders to fail. And if you can focus on these seven steps and think about them and write them out and focus on studying how you can avoid some of these bad practices, you're going to have better success in the crypto markets, in the stock markets, in the Forex markets, or whatever you're trading. Because remember, trading is just simply a game of probabilities. The market is always right. I guarantee to you one thing, you're going to lose trades, I'm going to lose trades. But the better we can stay in the markets, manage our risk, and attack the market day in and day out from a third party attitude, not from a place of cockiness, but from a place of solitude and focus, we're going to make more money in the markets. I'm wishing you the best. I want you to succeed, and I hope you do. I'm watching you from the sidelines. Keep going, keep growing. We'll see you on the next video.